everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Yofukashi no Uda, aka Call the Night Chapter 91. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos, and mm, it's getting faster by the second. We're talking hyper-speed, um... Panic attack levels of struggle up and yeah, seriously, I'm struggling to keep a roof over my head right now. It is that bad, but, but if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my cash up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So I swear to God, Ango is just freaking insane. She believes that, um, she will kill the night by killing these vampires. It's not going to happen, woman. Did you not watch Hotel Transylvania, you dumbass? Shit. Look, vampires are... Oh, shit, did you not watch Twilight? Motherfucker, I swear, this bitch is stupid. You are not going to end the night because you're... Because of uh, what happened to you. I This bitch, I swear to God, is... Friday night, double feature... Um, drive-in theater levels of projecting. She is just a hurt little girl. I swear to God, she would have rather died by her father's hand, not knowing about vampires, than um, being saved by Nazana. I swear to God, this bitch is fucking nuts. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Anyway, any method works for me. As long as I can kill the vampire, as long as I can kill the va vampires, so I'll create a night, a night without humans. This bitch is fucking insane. This chapter is titled "At least it be you, woman. You are nuts. Hold on a second. Any method works for me, as long as I can kill the vampire, as long as I can kill the vampires, so I'll create a night without humans. Woman, you are nuts and you are proving the point. And this is like a common theme, underlying theme with the chapters I'm covering today, I've noticed. And it's something that really started, um, I'm going to bring up Tominachi game for like the third or fourth time today. As if you are just fighting for justice, there's really no line drawn. There's no, because there's no clear definition of justice. It's easier to be a villain and because you know there's a there's a line that you can cross where it's like where it's evil and you know what villainy is and all that shit. With justice, there's really no clear definition for justice, and this bitch is just proving that. And there's a lot of characters proving this today in um in manga. Jesus Christ, woman, you are nuts. Don't look for me. I thought I told you that. Uh, I thought I told you that, Imori-kun. But you guessed right, Imori-kun. I came here today to get killed. Exposing vampires' existence is difficult. Even if, vamp even if the vampires get exposed, who they're not going to care. Majority of people don't, won't care. Majority of people would fucking love it. Shit. Um... They turn into dust when they die, so it's not like you could show off their corpses. Also, as I said in the last video, the government would just be using the vamp- weaponizing the vampires. Anyway, they would. Vampires would just go into hiding anyway. And if you, uh, if humans were cautious, you're not gonna- you're gonna fuck over, um, hospitals if you're gonna try and kill a, a, the knight without hum- and make, uh- Make it impossible for people to go to the hospital. You're gonna be if you're gonna you're gonna destroy the bar industry. Um, you're gonna just you're gonna destroy Las Vegas, which is a city that never sleeps. You stupid bitch. You're gonna destroy so much shit just because you're a hurt little girl. Fucking bitch, I swear. For example, if I went on TV and started screaming about how vampires exist, I'm telling you they do. <laughs> I'd be seen as nothing but a woman with a few screws loose. Hey, there's some people that will believe you. Well, there might be some truth to that. And that's why I thought I'd offer my life in order to expose them. At the very least, I'd show that some something within human force lives uh, while pretending to be one of us. I wanted to record a video of my death. Motherfucker, there is some... there. <sighs> Bitch, do you not know that there are witches amongst us? There are people that practice witchcraft. I'm dead ass serious. Look it up. People are fucking, I swear, this bitch is stupid. This bitch is stupid. If I don't 
don't die or don't get the video. I can't carry out this plan. This, uh, this is that kind of game. These ten years I've thought about nothing but killing vampires. Using their weak points, I could kill many of them, but no matter what, um, uh, there will be, no matter what, um, there will be those whose past I cannot know. Thus, it's impossible to kill every vampire. Then I'll just have to make them die somehow. You're not gonna make them die, make every vampire die. Because why? Vampires are human too. Because they're part demons, and all, except in some, except in the case of Witch Watch, they're deep. They're part demon and part human. So you are fucking stupid. And all, and you know what humans do? Actually, you know what? I should say this: like any organism, whether it be a virus or cell, whatever, or an animal, they freaking evolve and adapt. You are a dumb bitch for not realizing this. If no one wanders around at night, vampires will run out of blood and slowly get weaker. Bitch, have you not heard of the internet? You know how vampire vampires will just use dating apps. You are a stupid bitch, I swear. And slowly get weaker until extermination. That kind of plan. So you think it won't go as planned? That's what I expect, too. I know it's impossible for people to spend a year or two, let alone ten years, living in fear of vampires. They're not going to live in fear of vampires, you dumb bitch! Yet even then, I wanted to make it a quiet night. It's never going to be a quiet night. Look at this, look at this freaking lockdown. There's people in, I'm going to point out Los Angeles is the best example. People were still partying in Los Angeles even under lockdown. So your plan is fucking stupid. Even under strict ass lockdown. People are getting arrested for having house parties, okay? You are fucking stupid to believe that the night will be close be um you that the night is gonna stop because of uh because of vampires. You are dumb. You are dumb. People will do anything for freedom. People will do anything to go party and have fun. You, because you're a stupid kid. I feel like this is some Karen or Becky energy right now. Because, because you're a hurt little girl and you want to project that onto other people. You want to fuck everyone else over. Quit it. You're being stupid. But, well, my plan is exposed, so I'm done. I'm sure no one will kill me now. What will you do from now on? Will you look for another way to? Uh, frankly, I wonder. I'm a little tired. Senpai? I thought that if someone were to kill me, at least it'd be you, uh, Nanakusa. Why would she kill you? See, Nan see, Nanakusa, you never granted me a single one of my wish. What are you talking about? She helped your parents get back together, you stupid bitch. What is wrong with you? Uh, Nasuna-chan? Nasuna-chan, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I'm a little tired. Uh, an anemia? Feels like it. So even you get anemic. Um, isn't it reversed? Wanna suck? Kukan, sorry that I couldn't kill Senpai. You shouldn't feel sorry about that. Uh, eh, but would have it would have been bad if you had killed her? I think it would have been bad for um, Nasuna because, uh, because I don't know if she could live with it. It'd be more bad for her than, um, uh, for Anko than anything else. Anko is just a fucking moron. I don't know what is wrong with her. None of the shit she's talking about would ever happen. And plus, Anko, you're fucking stupid. Because Nazuna, Nazuna granted your goddamn wishes. She helped you with, with your parents. She helped you, um, she, you said you wanted to start being a vampire? She did that. She was your friend. Like, what is wrong with you? It just because it didn't go your way. Now, now you're saying, "Oh, you didn't give, you didn't grant any of my wishes." What a fucking asshole! I swear. That's not it. At some point, I was thinking, if I, I don't kill her, Kukum uh, will die. Even though in the end, not killing her was the right choice. Sorry. You didn't want. Uh, well, you know why she wasn't gonna do it because she didn't want to be a monster. She didn't want to be like her father. This bitch is so fucking stupid. Oh my god, she is dumb. Anko, you are stupid. You are dumb. And you're a you're a coward as well. You are so stupid. Like, 
Here's the thing I'm going to point out, though, the difference between someone like her and someone like, uh, well, Fukuchi's a war veteran, so I can't do that. Well, that's the thing. Like, here's the thing between, like, someone, um, I should, you know what? Should I point out, can make the comparison between her and, like, someone like Father and, um, Noragami? Yeah, I kind of feel like I should, because Noragami is kind of fucked up, because, he, um, Father was taken down by force onto this enlightenment because this monk was a fucking coward. And he's blaming the gods for it. And because the gods didn't prevent it from happening. And he's blaming everyone but himself because he could he could have just said, screw you, monk, and, like, left the monk after, you know, he was healed or whatnot. But he did kick the monk as he was going down. Now, the thing is, and you know what? I should compare to Fukuchi with this. Fukuchi is, you know, he, Fukuchi fought a lot of wars and all this shit. And instead of, you know, Fukuchi is saying, like, fuck this. It's all, it's not people's fault for doing this. It's government's fault. It's, po it's nation's fault. We gotta just destroy them all. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you not know how the world works? And what he's doing is actually more damage to the people by uh, by turning the whole world into vampires and doing, like, a full-on coup d'etat. He became the very thing that he's seeking out to destroy, and, you know, it's creating a god complex. And what... What Anko was doing, what she wanted to do, she was becoming... She became the monster that she's setting out to destroy. But the difference is, is Anko's plan was fucking stupid. Whereas Father in Origami and Fukuchi in, um, in Bogo Stray Dogs, they are fucking idiots. Yeah, they're... Logic-wise, logic they may be stupid, okay? But their plans actually work. God, Father... Oh my God, Father in Origami is fucking stupid. He won't take accountability for his own actions. He's blaming everyone else but himself. Fucking other people. Anyways. You didn't want to kill her, right? Uh, your, senpai, your senpai. I don't want to make uh, make you do something that will make you cry, Nazanachan. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to make... Uh, I didn't want Miss Detective to die either. That person is... That person is... A, a, her little girl is what? And she's a dumb bitch, too. Nazanachan, let's go after Miss Detective. We are... We are not done yet. No! I knew she was going to try and kill herself. Miss Detective! <gasps> no! Ain't you have known you was going to get shot? Uh, no! You Morikun! Yeah, you stupid bitch! You, uh, now you see, now she's got, now she sees she's the monster that she wanted to destroy. She became her father for a second there. Like, she's not an actual vampire, but she still killed, she hurt somebody. Is Yamori gonna die? No, he's not gonna die. But you stupid bitch, you shot a human. Fucking moron. Oh, this bitch is so stupid. Anko, you are a dumb bitch. You are a dumb bitch. Anko, I hope this is a reality check by you shooting Yamori. Sucks that Yamori has to deal with this. I swear, I can't stand Anko. Anko, you are a dumb bitch. This better be a reality check that you are a fucking moron. <sighs> Anyways, I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. I can't... Dude, I should have known Yamori was going to get shot. I, he's going to get shot anyway. Because this bitch just projects her, is just straight up projecting anyway. And she's got, she, I knew she was gonna try and kill herself. No shit. Because she has no, she feels like she has no purpose. Like, woman, you do have purpose. You can prevent the same thing that happened to you. What happened to that girl that wanted to prevent infidelity and all that? Or like wanted to save other women from um other women from suffering the same thing that she did. Like, you could do that, but no.
no, you're being such a dumb bitch. It's unbelievable. This woman is fucking stupid. I can't believe her. Like, it's not just that. She can be, she's doing so much by saving these vampires, though. These feral vampires that, like, can't, like, when a vampire is going so far that, you know, there's, they can't turn back. When the, you know what I mean by going feral, like her father did, and like shit, like the vampire that we saw um, die, like she could do so much for the for the community by doing that, so she could prevent people from dying, like like her father or like her parent or like her mom. I mean, she could do so much with this, but she's being a stupid brat. <sighs> God, and to an extent, she was. She was doing that. But how she's going about this right now, about wanting to destroy the night and all that, that's just a hurt little girl. She's being a dumb bitch. Just leave the vampires, the vampires that are not doing anything, just leave them alone. They're not doing anything to you. Just go after the vampires that are, that are fucking um, going feral and hurting people. Leave the rest of them alone. Dumb bitch. Seriously. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more uh, Call of the Night content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.